Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for Tinder International Conference Committee to give us the chance to show our oral presentation with title Review on Coat Form Steel, New Column, Attacks and Eaves, Address Joint. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Fasatri Almansra. I'm a doctoral student in Sevilla University. In this paperwork, I was collaborated with my supervisor, Mr. Rani Sagaf, Mr. Mahmoud Amit Tahir, and Kiagus Muhammad Aminuddin. Okay, in the abstract, we wrote that uh, light steel framing using the coat from steel section is one of the industrialized building system that is highly recommended into our country construction industry. Not only contributed to speed up construction time and reducing the material usage, but also guaranteed the quality of the building. A relentless study has been conducted to achieve the appropriate configuration to ensure the CMS popularity by introducing different types of joints applicable in construction of lightweight steel framing. A review of the CFS joint is provided in the study. The CFS joint is focused on the beam column joint, apex and eave, and truss joint. The study is mapped in order to establish research trend on CFS joints. Some areas show limited study and need future research work on structural behavior aspect of the proposed joint. So this is the introduction. Uh, in this part, it shows that the steel has been divided into two types, which are the whole steel and coat foam steel. And there's the advantages of the coat foam seals. And then why the coat foam steel has the higher yield and ultimate strength than the whole roll steel. Due to its disadvantages, the structural member of CFS has been developed and studied. Most importantly, the joint behavior with the CFS structural member. So it is need to map the research trend of the CFS joint study to propose map the of the research trend and show the most and the few research studies. And this is the a uh, review study from the previous research. There is the screw and bolted as the commonly utilized CFS connection. And then there is a numerical approach of CFS with several standards. And then a uh, CFS study uh, in the structural and environmental areas. And then a uh, bolted CFS beam column connection review. And then a review about the composite beam con connection. There is this, a very limited study in it. So this is the overall CFS research in join from the previous research that has been studied. And then this is the illustration of the structural join on the CFS. So in the beam column join, the type of the beam column join is divided into two types which are the non-composite beam column joint and composite beam column joint. So this is the type of loading that has been studied, which are the static load and dynamic load. Uh, these two type of loads have a different, has a different result. And then this type of beam column connection, such as bolted connection, screw connection, welded connection, or rivet connection. So this is the review from the previous study. Uh, there is a bolted connection with a static load type. And then there is a bolted connection and static load type. And there is a self-stepping screw and self reading screw with a static load. And then the, there is a core pulling rivet uh, with a static load. And then there is a bolt and screw combination. And then there is a welded connection that has been used so in a non-composite joint, uh, there is a, by adding the top seat and we have angle utilization on the joint, it could enhance the moment resistance and regularity of the connection. In exclusion of additional angle section, the house gusset plate has a higher moment resistance than the others due to a government trickle advantages that gives and resistance in the joint. 
So this is the dynamic load with a bolted connection. And then there is the similar. And this is the composite type, where is the bolted connection with the static load. The connector that has been used was the Hunch gusset lid and rectangle gusset lid. It is a very limited study. So in the last five years, the rivet and the welded connection is very limited. And then the screw connection it shows that the shear failure is dominate the failure on the screw connection and bolted connection it shows that it's suitable for a static and dynamic loading condition so from this uh, it shows that the composite beam column joint is very limited study so in the apex and eaves joint it shows that the apex uh, and eaves joint configuration development of the long span frame the rafter and column configuration the optimization of portal frame to achieve an optimum design. So uh, in Apex and Eve joints, uh, I would like to uh, highlight the failure that happened. There is a buckling failure, there is a screw failure, and there is a presence of the buy moment, and there is a reduction of the capacity due to bolted length, and then the web buckling, and then there is a proposed equation which uh, close to the experimental and violent element result. And then there is a, a influence of the long internal stiffener. And then there is a shear failure on the screw. And then there is a lateral partial buckling on the column. And then there is a optimization of the Portal frame, uh, which shows a uh, improvement on bending capacity and the structural weight. So in truss joints, the focus research in truss joints is the connection configuration, the truss span, blast load resistance, influence of truss configuration, semi-rigid behavior of truss connection. So in the truss joint, there is a local buckling at the top court. And there is a distortional buckling at the top court and bottom court. And then uh, there is a, a influence of the different number of the screws. And then there is a modified truss has a higher compressive capacity than the bottom court. And then there is a blast load influence to the truss. And then the, the other summarize was shows that there is a failure on the bearing and the shear on the screw. And there is the influence of the span of the truss. And then there's a development of a span, a pedestrian, pedestrian bridge for, with a foam steel material. And then we go to the discussion. Overall, the studies of CFS joint show that the non-composite beam column joint is the most favorable studies with uh, monotonic and cyclic load. Uh, bolted hunch gusset lid connection is the most utilized connection throughout the study. The study of welded connection is very limited within the last five years. Uh, from the dynamic test shows that the beam column joint has been suitable to face the seismic activity, even if the CFS has a weakness such as a brittle material and instability to buffer failure. For the further research, uh, there is a need to find a suitable connection that could development, uh, develop the moment resistance for beam column joint and heavy load requirement. The introduction, the introduction of the blast load uh, on the beam column joint uh, could be considered for the further study. The composite beam column joint has been very limited. But uh, it shows that uh, there is a tendency to have a localized failure of a uh, column or beam sections and non-ductile behavior of the connection. So there is a need improvement for the joint to have behave as a partial strength and ductile behavior. In order to achieve a sustainable construction, the combination of lightweight concrete and CFS as a structural element could be considered. So, and then uh, in the long span, Portal frame is very uh, great deal in the future era. The optimizing rafter and column 
uh, for Apex and if joint is very important in reducing the quarter frame buffering mode and also the weight of the structure. The development of the coat foam steel on truss joint is applicable for roof, floor, pedestrian, cantilever, and cantilever. The study of the HRC Hoyt Rivet connection on the floor joist could be an improved in the future study, not just in the floor joist element. The blast analysis on the roof truss showed the truss behavior under the blast load and its ability to absorb the energy. So in the conclusion, in previous research summary showed that CFS utilization in structural joint has improved. The utilization of CFS as beam column joints shows numerous gusset lift types up to optimize the joint. The study of the beam column joint and seismic activity has shown that CFS also has the capability to resist the dynamic load. The limited study of wildland connection and composite joint need to be considered in the future research. The novel study that combines lightweight concrete and CFS has become a new challenge in the future. The optimization process on portal frame show there is a more possibility of a new equation in each type span of the portal frame. The optimization process will achieve a standardized portal frame. The pedestrian, pedestrian bridge shown by the truss joint has become an interesting topic in the future. The blast load test and each type of CFS joint could be an interesting topic in the future. I think that's all from our presentation. Uh, thank you for all of your info, uh, attention. Uh, I close by Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.